Okay, here's a quick little video of my e bus bar. It's a 240 volt charger. I purchased it off Amazon for about $300. It just finished charging my car. Thought I would do a quick review of it. It's it's an awesome charger. I have had it for, I apologize, it's a little bit darker out here. I've had it for about maybe three weeks. And uh, I've been very impressed with it, very happy. Uh, it's charged great, no problems whatsoever. The car recognized it. It recognized the car right off the bat uh, for 300 bucks. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I have the Ford C-Max Energy. I don't know if you can see that down there. It's a little bit dark, but it's off. The lights are off because it did just finish charging. I plugged in about two hours and 15 minutes ago, and it charged it up already. Uh, it fluctuates between two hours, 15 minutes, two hours, 30 minutes, roughly, on my car. And that's usually always with a dead battery. And I'm in hybrid mode by then, and it's about 50% down on the little battery meter for hybrid mode. Uh, when I pull into my garage. But I've been really, really impressed with this. Uh, E-Bus Bar on Amazon, $300, uh, Amazon Prime. I installed the outlet myself. I'm going to go ahead and flip it because, well, it's upside down. <laughs> uh, I did it according to the picture on, on this guy, uh, which was upside down. After getting it, I realized that I just haven't flipped it over. So I'm going to shut that off, flip it over. I installed this myself. 240 volt line going to a 30 amp breaker. Plenty for this. This only draws 16 amps off of that. So it is a it's a level two charger, but it's a lower end level two charger. It only only draws 16 amps. Uh, 3300 or 3800 watts I think is all it can do an hour. But my car only draws 3300 watts, so it works out perfect. If you have a Ford Fusion Energy or a Ford C Max, it's a perfect matchup for those. Uh, and I mean, if you have a Chevy Volt or anything like that, that, that will use a higher charger, it's still a great matchup for that, especially for $300. It just won't pull the full current that those cars are capable of pulling. I think the Chevy Volt will pull uh, six kilowatts from a charger and this is only 3.3 kilowatts. So, uh, I'll, I'll have to double check that. But, uh, either way, I know a couple of people said that it will charge their volts in about three, three and a half, four hours in that range between three and four hours. Uh, so it's still quite a bit faster, but I mean, this was my C Max was charging in about six hours, and it dropped it down to two to two and a half hours. I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, it's I've gotten better fuel economy now. Um, I have solar panels. Uh, I did those myself as well. Uh, if you want to see how I did those, see some of my other videos. I have a tutorial on those. But uh, with the solar panels and my plug-in hybrid, I'm I'm really happy with. Uh, how much money I'm not putting towards fuel right now. I've been averaging about 60 to 70 miles per gallon. I'm a photographer and a real estate agent and I drive all over the place. So I do have a, a day job as well. So I, I drive all over. My daily commute is about 18 miles each way and I can make it almost completely on battery there and back uh, with the way I drive, uh, which is pretty impressive. About double the range of what the C-Max is rated for. On the way there is downhill, on the way back is uphill obviously I'm able to almost make it home on a, on a bat full battery but I'll do another review on the C-Max and give you some more details on that this is on the charger the charger works great with the C-Max I will post a link below to the charger and if you have any questions let me know I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to do the wiring for this I can if there's a lot of people but it's a pretty straightforward plug uh, I bought mine at Home Depot the cost was about six bucks for the outlet uh, 50 cents for the box and I already had the wiring but the wiring would be about another five to ten bucks so really cheap you're three hundred twenty five dollars for this charger if you install it all yourself depending on how far you have to go for that line maybe even less three hundred twenty bucks uh, but anyway I will post a link to where I bought this uh, go check it out